This is Lonnie Stark of Stark Silver Creek and we're here at the San Jose Rep. And just before the show, the grand opening of the world premiere of the Kite Runner play here, upstairs on the second floor they have an exhibit of a, um, photography from 1970 to 1975 capturing an era of peace in Afghanistan. And it's just incredible um, seeing these images that are captured of everyday life and really is a great prelude to the Kite Runner show um, by seeing what life was like during this era. As you look through all of these images of everyday life in Afghanistan, you wonder whether the photographer ever knew how profound some of these, photo some of these photographs will be now um, with all the conflict that's happening in Afghanistan to think that these photos would immortalize this incredible era of peace. Hello, this is Lonnie Stark of Stark Silver Creek. I am here with Joseph Hoyt, who is the photographer of this wonderful exhibit about an era of peace in Af Afghanistan between 1970 to 1975. Uh, Joseph, uh, what were you thinking or what was the adventure that took you all the way to Afghanistan? And when you took these pictures, did you think much of them? I was a 22-year-old hippie with a camera. Really? Absolutely, yeah. And But what... what uh, brought me to resurrect them was the bad press that Afghanistan was getting back in the early uh, part of the new century and uh, the new millennium and um, I realized I had something very special in these photographs and that they showed Afghanistan at a time when there was no war there was a time of peace relative prosperity an open society uh, people went to college people uh, walked ladies walked around in mini skirts and uh, and folks drove around in Mustang convertibles and you just, just, I saw a lot of these photos and they're just of people doing everyday things. In fact, one of them was funny. There was one gentleman um, scratching at someone else's skull, right? Oh, well, he's actually giving him a, a shave. He's shaving his head. Of course, oh. the, a lot of the Afghans uh, men have their head shaped bald. And so uh, the fellow is giving him a, a shave with a straight razor on the side of the street with a little cup of water to, to wash the, the whiskers away or the hair away as he, uh, as he gave him the haircut. Ah, okay. That's called uh, <laughs> a close shave with a dull razor. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, um, so uh, when you took these pictures, I mean, you never, photos, you never thought that they would be um, capturing such an interesting time n now with all the con you know, conflict that's happening. I did not, and I never imagined that the Russians would invade Afghanistan. I had never had contemplated uh, any such thing as the Taliban. Um, and I could never have contemplated the horrors that we've seen in Afghanistan in the last 30 years. So you're absolutely right about that. But these are photographs taken at a time when, when things were uh, peaceful. It was a really wonderful country. It was safe. It was fun to travel in. The people were generous. And uh, it was really a good experience for a kid. Well, thank you for taking the time out to speak. Um, if people are interested, I noticed that these photos are on the gallery, but also they can visit your website and purchase they, some of them as well. That's correct. It's imagesofafghanistan.com. That's imagesofafghanistan.com. Simple enough. We'll definitely thanks, post thanks that up. Thanks for your inspired blogging. Well, thank you. Okay, bye. On to the play. Yeah.